Is there nothing for you to play on Roblox? Well, good news. Anime Crossover Defense is a game I'm really excited for that's coming out on May 10th. This game's got one of the best summoning animations I've ever seen, as well as really cool systems like the artifact feature and double upgrades. Make sure to check the pinned comment for a Discord link and go ahead and join. Sup my dudes, Val here. Today I'm going to be talking about how Leader power crept the entire game. Uh, Leader is the LR plus Evo, and in my opinion, the best unit in the game currently, and I'm going to show you guys exactly why. And why you can start to expect units to come out a lot stronger, and it's purely because of his existence. Um, everything got moved forward a couple months with this unit's, like in terms of power creep, with this unit's addition, because of how strong he is, how strong his leader skill is, and basically what he allows. So first, we're going to showcase exactly how powerful the leader buff is in specific situations and how good it really is in actuality. So people really get, so you guys can really understand why I say leader power crept the entire game and raise the whole damage floor of the whole game. Now, before, if a unit was doing like 700 to 900k, they were pretty good, right? With leader now, if a unit's not doing at least one mil, at least one mil, then that unit's in a really bad spot. And let me show you what I mean by that. So here we have Shisui, the current Abyss unit, who in my opinion is probably like the worst Abyss unit ever. Um, I don't think he's, I don't think Shisui's like any, Shisui's not bad, but I don't think he's anything crazy. So we're going to go ahead and just buff up Shisui first, just using Naruto, just so you guys can see exactly what Shisui is before leader and then i'm going to show you what she sweet looks like after leader uh yeah now i gotta wait on that one buff to time out and then i can start this cycle so let's go ahead let's uh let's wait for this to time out and then you guys will get to see exactly how much naruto buffs she sweet so yeah now we have that going we're going to auto ability you guys can look 1.28 million that's a respectable attack stat right so how much do you think on a 54% attack upgrade, uh, leader buffs up Shisui. How much do you think? Let's find out, shall we? So we put down leader, right? And let's just go ahead and max out leader now. Wait for the mastermind buff to pop up. Now that the mastermind buffs popped up, what are we guessing? 54% more attack? So you're like, ah, oh, 54% more attack. Probably around like 1.6 mil, right? That's not the way it works. Uh, it's actually 1.97 mil, it's almost double. So, the reason Leader broke the game is because most other buffers or category buffers only get 45%. Leader gives 54% to four categories, meaning Leader is going to push... Actually, it's... Is it four or is it five? It's five categories. Jesus. No, it's four. Yeah, it increases money from worker unit. Okay, so it's only four categories. That's right. Flower, Fierce Fighter, Youth, and Genius. This is a lot of units. Um, because Leader exists, uh, basically leader is going to be able to push any unit in those four categories to insane degrees of power and not to mention we also get into leaders leader skill and how broken leaders leader skill is i'll show that in a second but it basically increased the entire damage floor of the game by a solid 70 percent that's absurd whenever you talk in terms of power creep uh leader moved the game forward in power creep a couple months that's how much it was that's why you guys are going to see a lot of units get really strong. You might even see like some older units not be nearly as good as they were because they don't get buffed by leader, plain and simple. Um, so we just kind of, as a testers and balancers, we got to kind of find the balance between what is good that's new and what gets absolutely buffed to the moon because leader is absolutely broken and unfair. So let me go ahead now and let me showcase. So now let me showcase a youth setup and what really, really breaks leader and what makes youth the absolute best team in the game. So even though like silver team has really high DPS, they can without crimson silver can take out like a 1.2 billion HP enemy uh, with crimson. Uh, it can go up to 2.3 billion. So even though silver is like this insane DPS powerhouse, youth will simply be better because of the way leader functions and the way leader works. So, with Leader as the lead, even though he's only a 100% attack lead, he's one of the very few minus 20% cost leads. So he's a good attack lead. He gives you a 54% base attack, which we already established is about a 70% attack increase. On top of all of that, I didn't even bring Idle. Let me go back and get Idle real quick. All right, so now that we have Idle in our setup, uh, Leader, the way Leader works and the way Leader's broken as hell is Leader's buff and All Might's buff and all these buffs, they apply to the base attack value. 
Uh, so what does this mean? It means that you take the base number, you apply the leader buff to it, not the leader to unit, but the actual leader buff, in this instance 100% attack, and then afterwards you apply then leader's buff, which is 54% attack, and then you take that number and you give it to idol, you give it to Naruto, you give it to 3 times buffers, 2.3 times buffers, 2.2 times buffers, whatever. You take that number and you give it to these and then they amp that number up. So this buff is so much more than actually 54%. Um, in Idol's case, with 2.25 times, it's really, how much is it? Like 108, so it's like 120% buff increase, actually. Whereas the 45% is somewhere like uh, 108% or something like that. Some, just doing quick math in my head. I'm probably wrong, probably way off the mark. But you guys get the idea. Because the way leader works, you have these actually th insane things. And then the other thing leader does, because minus 20% cost, look how cheap all these units are to upgrade in place. Look at this. Even at 100k. Look, and he's at 1.64 mil. Grimmy's at 1.64 mil because he's being buffed by leader. And this is what I mean. Leader absolutely broke the entire game. Uh, you guys can see with no raise attack gone. He is a 90k unit with 4 million attack stat, full AoE range, 122 range, uh, because of the new range buffs. And then Killua, as you guys know, you guys know how crazy Killua was for a while. You can see all the buffs start to get applied. Um, what's not buffing him? There it goes. 1.34 million with all the buffs applied. Uh, really nuts, really insane. This is all what leader can do. Leader is absolutely broken, absolutely the best unit in the game. Hands down, he moved like I don't think there's been any unit that has changed the game as much as leader has. Leader literally changed the entire game. He's so damn strong now. And now, new units that don't have the ability to have leader's buff have to be able to compete with the amount of power leader has. And in the future, going forward, any youth units coming out, any unit, well, specifically youth, but any units on Genius, uh, Fierce Fighter, etc. You guys gotta remember, this isn't even a 120 lead. This is a 100 lead. On a 100 lead, he's reaching 164 because of leader's buff. But any units going forward that's on youth, Fierce Fighter, Genius, Mastermind, etc., whatever the other ones are, what is it? Uh, Genius, Youth, Fierce Fighter, and Flower. Flower, yeah. Yeah, the super generic category. Um, any units on those categories are just going to instantly have to be made with this guy in mind. Absolutely game-breaking unit. Absolutely insane. If you guys haven't built him, it's super easy to evo at two, by the way. If you guys have not built leader, I highly recommend you do. Uh, but leader is absolutely game-changing broken. Absolutely nuts. Anyways, thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.